everybody to this week's episode of Everybody Eats. My name is Briss. I'm Cheese. And this week we went to Harvey and Ed's. Um, Harvey and Ed's is a modern take on a New York style deli type of restaurant. Um, it's located in the short north. Um, it's moderately sized, so you know, yeah. not too big, not too small. Um, with the being in the short north, parking is trash. Um, so that's a given. Just sucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you walk into the restaurant, um, you notice it's just a very well lit, very nice looking, mm -hmm. elegant, um, but yeah, still casual. It's right. kind of almost like you walked into like what I would think would be like an old school deli, like in New York somewhere. I don't really know. Never really been to one. Yeah. Not really old school either. Yeah. Not really, really old, young. I'm sorry. Yeah. I tried though. It seems like it'd be fitting. Yeah. So, you know, like, it's good enough. They got like a deli counter with like cured meats and fish and things of that nature. It looked pretty nice. It's cool. Yeah. Pretty nice bar setup. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just really great interior all together. So, yeah, we get seated and we have our cocktails. For me, I had the I had the Negroni, um, which is Benham's Gin, Campari, and Sweet Vermouth. Um, the Negroni is very, uh, so they, they serve in like, um, obviously, obviously you have your glass, but they also have like the little, this little tin can. Yeah, it's like a little tin can, it says Negroni on it. Right, and you like can pour more into it whenever, you know, you feel necessary. Um, so that's kind of nice. But um, yeah, it's a very bitter, um, almost like a, a very strong, like grapefruit, like citrus type of taste from the Campari. Okay, what is Kim Yeah, I don't remember, so we ain't ask me that. All right, that's fine. Um, so, but yeah, it's very bitter, but still, it tastes very good. I like it, but I do like bitter. Uh, I, I love grapefruit, so bitter tasting things aren't really, you know, uh, unknown to me. So I like it a lot myself. Cool. So. I kind of hate bitter drinks. Yeah. Yeah, but it's weird because I also don't like sweet ones, so it's kind of strange, but it's whatever. Well, it might, it might be just because it's like a grapefruit, like citrusy kind of bitter. It's like a... Yeah. So that just I mean, might be why. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. It's just like, it takes me forever to drink a Negroni. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah, it takes me forever to drink that. <laughs> um, I had, uh, what was it, Ed's Martini. It was just a botanist gin, uh, dry vermouth, and a pickleback. If you're not familiar with the pickleback, which I'm learning that lots of people are, I mean aren't, like I don't, at least people that I know or keep running into, like, what's a pickleback? And I'm like, it's just a shot of pickle juice, my guy. That's, that's it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of like a dirty martini, really. So you just take the shot of the drink and you take the shot of the pickleback? Have, yeah, like, like oftentimes you do a pickleback with like a shot of Jameson or something. Like, mm -hmm. Jameson with a pickleback. It just kind of like cleanses your palate to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. It's very effective, yeah. for sure. <laughs> you don't taste anything after. Yeah, it's just dumb. I mean, you just taste pickles. But if you don't like pickles, then that would suck. But right. I like pickles. Balls. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. You love saying that. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. fine. Anyway, it was really good. Balanced really well. I drank like a quarter of it without even putting it into because like it comes in a martini glass and then there's like a little side shot of pickle juice. Um, they make a lot of their pickles in-house, so I'd imagine that's where that brine came from. Uh, it was really, it was really good. It was very well balanced, and I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so those are our cocktails. Uh, and we got to our appetizers. I had the Brussels sprouts, um, which those had, had aged goat cheese, walnuts, grapes, pumpernickel, and mustard vinaigrette. Um, so definitely, these are the most complex and intricate Brussels sprouts I've ever had in my life. Um, but that, that's not to say that they tasted bad, they did taste good for sure. Not the best I've ever had, but they did taste good. Um, just a really nice blend of flavors. You got some crunchiness from the walnuts. The grapes gave like a, a sweet kind of taste. Um, the mustard vinaigrette gave it like a, um, Tangy. Yeah, yeah, you have a, yeah, you have a lot of shits going on. Um, so it was nice. You got sweet, you got sour, you got pumpernickel. There's all sorts of different tastes. Uh, Roasted Brussels sprouts. Everything. Yeah, it was alright. 
not my favorite personally, but, but okay. Yeah. Also, like, I'm not sure if the pumpernickel was supposed to be like croutons or what. I didn't really read the menu on that. Does it just say pumpernickel? It just says pumpernickel. It was literally just like kind of like soggy pumpernickel bread. Yeah. In the with the Brussels sprouts, it was kind of strange, but whatever. Um, I, mean, I that probably wasn't the intention. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? Um, what did I have? I just had a knish. Good old knish. Um, which is just like stuffed, just like a stuffed savory pastry essentially. Um, it had Gruyere, onion, and then there was just like a nice smear of like sour cream underneath it. It was, yeah, it was very simple. It was just really flaky. Um, it was, yeah, it was really good. It was really flaky. It was seasoned well. Uh, the Gruyere kind of came through. I wish we got more of it in there, or maybe like a, a more aged Gruyere. I don't know. What's Gruyere? Gruyere is essentially just like a French version of Swiss cheese. Oh, okay. That's a, huh. so, a little crazy. So it's basically just cheese and onion and sour cream. Yeah. And dill. Yeah. I'm okay. sorry, it was also some dill on top. Alright. Huh. Okay. Anyway, alright. It was really good though. I really enjoyed it. I just wish, I don't know. Sometimes I just like funky cheeses and Gruyere it doesn't really get super funky anyway, but. You know, depend. Well, I, I don't know. If you're used to baby Swiss, then I guess you might think that's funky. But that's a whole different conversation for a totally different day. I was gonna ask a lot of questions about that, actually, but I can say this. I'll say it for later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess that might be kind of confusing. Cause what you just said it was French Swiss. Like, yes, but no. Another day. Or, yeah, another, another day. day. That's fine. Another day. So those are our appetizers. Um, for our entrees, I had the salmon, um, sea of salmon to be exact, uh, which was, it also came with garlic, roasted potatoes, and vegetables. Um, so, yeah, I mean, pretty much your, your average uh, salmon entree meal. Um, it definitely met my expectations. Salmon isn't really something that you can easily mess up. Um, I never had a bad one in my life, but, um, <laughs> I don't think so. Like some have been okay, some have been good, some have been great. But I've never had a bad saying like, oh, yeah, this is nasty. Like, so, okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, salmon was good. Um, not extravagant by any means, but it was good. Uh, very flaky, uh, for sure. It broke off very easily. Um, the potatoes and the vegetables, um, they were cool. They were more so just there, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's fair. They, they, yeah. they didn't really have much tying them together or anything. Like, it was just kind of like, <laughs> just yeah. A, yeah, just a bunch of like, like, yeah, like, what, some roasted peppers on there, some zucchini. Zucchini, yeah. Like, yeah, like, right. was there even potatoes on there? You, you must have ate all those before I looked or something, because I don't even remember seeing it. Uh, yeah, there were potatoes on there. Yeah, there were potatoes. That's cool. But yeah, like, like I said, it was kind of, they were serviceable at best. They were just there. That's cool. Yeah, it was just like to make the meal. Yeah. Essentially. But it's it's it alright. Cool. Yeah. It was alright. It was cool. The salmon was cooked really well. It, was, it had a really nice sear on it. It was seasoned really well. So that was nice. It was. Yeah. Um, I had the meatloaf. Cause I don't know how to pronounce this person's name. Bubba. It's like Bubba. Bubba. What would they eat? Bubbies. Bubbies. I don't Bubbies. I don't know. I don't know. I had somebody's meatloaf. Somebody's meatloaf. <laughs> it was really good. It was nice. Um, it was seasoned really well. It was. It wasn't like out like a all dense and like a brick. Like it was still fairly like not fluffy per se, but like it was tender. It was moist. It was, yeah, and it still like had like kind of crispy on the outside, which is what you really want from a good meatloaf typically. Uh, so it had that mashed potatoes, oh, just like some carrots and onions, and then uh, gravy, which, eh, the carrots and onions didn't really wow me, per se, like, I don't know, kind of, again, they were just kind of like there, like, they didn't really do much with them, like, except that they were like glazed or whatever, I'm sorry, I had uh, like uh, onions, like pearl onions, as well as green beans, both were just kind of like, Blanched and put on a plate, like wasn't really much going on. 
they actually still could use some seasoning. Um, so, you know, that would have kind of elevated it had that happened, but it didn't, so it's whatever. The mashed potatoes were cool. Um, yeah, they weren't like the best mashed potatoes I've ever had in my life. Certainly not the worst, though. And, you know, I'm sorry. Gravy was dope. The meatloaf, again, was definitely the star of the plate there, though, without a doubt. Yeah. I liked it. Like I don't, I don't want to sound like it. Like I was just. I know I don't sound very enthused. I was right very, now. he was very great. Right. Right. But yeah, that, it was good though. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was nice. I'd order it again. That was a good breakdown. Like, yeah, with these. It's just you know some things could have been just slightly elevated. I think I feel like. Okay. Just a little. Gotcha. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, so those are our entrees. Uh, in regards to the service we had. Um, our server was very knowledgeable. Extremely knowledgeable. Yeah, um, she rattled off like recommendations and it was just everything on the menu without even like looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, very like personable, had a great personality. Uh, jubilant. Yeah, just, yeah. This is all, this is all around a good, uh, yeah, good service. Honestly. Wasn't, weren't, wasn't too, uh, Overbearing. Overbearing, yeah. Like she came like when needed or you know, just stopped by every now and again, but nothing like it. too pressing. So yeah. She came over and filled our waters and didn't say shit to us. That was, that was dope. That's always a good sign. Yeah. At least in my opinion. Uh, um, yeah. Honestly, she, yeah. She did a really great job. Like from the start, I knew she was going to do a really good job. Yeah. Like as soon as she was like, hey, you guys been here before? Uh, you know, we're like, uh, yeah, maybe like once, but blah, 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 and she's like, okay, cool, well, these things are popular, this is what's in it, like, this is what I like, this is how this is made, this is made in-house, blah, 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 like, she did a great job. She was very um, thorough. Extremely thorough. Um, oh, okay, so, like, also, like, with, like, seat numbers, she did a really good job with that, um, which isn't a hard thing to do, but oftentimes, just, it just doesn't get done well, which... Like when someone brings you your food to your table and they just kind of like auction it off to you, like, all right, so I got the meatloaf <laughs> and I got such and such, and then you gotta like raise your hand. Like you shouldn't have to do that at a restaurant. <laughs> you should know what you ordered and where to sit it. Unless, so, unless you that. switch seats with someone <laughs> after you order, in which case you're an asshole. Um, I mean, unless like you had to or something, I guess you're not an asshole, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, that was done well, which is great. It's typically a good sign. Also, like our silverware got changed out. That's also a really good sign. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just a great service, honestly. I'd go back specifically just for the service. Right. Honestly, I don't, don't remember her name. I don't think. I do. It oh, was, it was Teal. My name was Teal. Was, like the color. Like the color. Yep. Exactly. She even gave us a great way to remember her name. Yeah. It's good service. It is good service. Yeah. Damn it. I actually remember her name. I don't even use her remember service in there. I mean, it wasn't a hard one to remember, but Unless still. Unless they're good. Yeah. So there you go. That yeah. tells you everything you need to know. So yeah. Um, so that was our service. Uh, Price-wise, um, I would say it was pretty fitting. Average price yeah. for your you know, sit-down restaurant. Yeah. Um, not too much, not too little. Uh, 20 to like 30-ish dollar entree. Um, yeah. How about what you expect? Yeah. I feel like we always say about what to expect. Well, because sometimes it's cheaper, though. We do say cheap. I feel like we... Maybe lately. Well, it should be cheap. We don't... Like, it would be sad. We wouldn't be caring. Like, yeah, we, like, you know, this shit's free. Just go get it. Like, or at least that's what I typically say. Don't listen to me. It's never free. <laughs> don't listen to me. I'm sorry. Never actually free. Yeah. Never. Disclaimer. Yeah. Um, but no, we, we call it out. Yeah. Or if it's trash, you say, hey, that shit's expensive. Expensive. Because hey, for this shit to be yeah. this, yeah, so. Okay, yeah, you're right. You got me. You got me there. I'm sorry. So this is fairly price. It's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's my bad. It's my bad. So yeah, that was our service. Um, So all in all, I would give Harvey and Ed's a solid 3.25 out of 4 stars. Um, Just, you know, great atmosphere, great service. Um, Drinks were good. Food was good, not not necessarily spectacular, 
um, but good nonetheless. Um, it was fairly priced. Uh, I just don't. I don't have really many complaints about it at all, if any. Um, may, maybe the, the the vegetables on my on my plate for my entree could have been uh, more enticing, but you know that's you know it happens. It's, it wasn't perfect, but yeah, three point two five out of four. I'll give it the same thing actually. Um, the service really boosts up the score for me. Honestly. Yeah. That, that, was, that was great. Shout out to her. Yeah, shout out to you too. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Food was cool. I was alright. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Like I should. I don't know. It was good. Okay. <laughs> I liked it. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Fuck you want from me? Right. <laughs> I enjoyed the food. Right. Um, it was nothing mind blowing or spectacular, but it was good. Yeah. Good. Okay. okay. Well, guys, thank you for watching this week's episode. Make sure you tip your service as always. Please do. Uh, make sure you buy a t shirt on the website. Give that a shot as well. That would also be nice. Remember, 10% gets donated. Um, and yeah, yeah, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace. Have a great life. <laughs>